Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and I just and I have done one it was a request, which was uh, makeup for 12 year olds. And in that video, I had a request to do a makeup for 10 year olds, and it's from Girl with Bunny Slipper. So I will link her uh, YouTube on the sidebar. And um, I didn't wear makeup when I was 12, so but I do watch a lot of videos on on YouTube here from makeup gurus and stuff. So I do know what I'm trying to say here. So don't I don't want any of this negative comments, anything below. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so this is kind of a look, this is kind of an easy makeup kind of thing, and it's good for anyone, not just for 12 year, 10 year olds. So if you're just on the go kind of person, you can um, use this kind of tip too as well. And um, for those in your, in your middle school, make sure you f um, you figure out what the rules are in your middle school if you're allowed to wear makeup or not. I don't want you to wear makeup to school and get in trouble for it. But obviously, you can wear makeup and go to the mall and stuff on your own time. Okay, and for your face, a lot of younger skin has really good. Younger face have really good skin, so I recommend a tinted moisturizer. And a good one is a Physicians Formula um, Organic Wear Tinted Moisturizer, and my color is light to natural. Um, I do have a review of this on my blog, actually, so I'll link my blog on the sidebar. If you want to know more about this product, you can go there and check it out before you invest on, on a product that's 15 to $17. But it's quite worth it because it's like a two-in-one product. You don't actually need to buy a moisturizer aside from this thing. Like, you just buy this, and it's good for it. Like both purposes uh, so it's really good and it's really sure coverage so it's really good for younger skin and it, since it's really sure coverage if you have any blemishes or whatnot you can I would suggest you get a concealer and um, any drugstore brand has a concealer I got covergirl um, invisible concealer because this was the one on sale at my drugstore when I bought it and most of them are liquid form like this in a tube and they have um, brush tip and they have sponge tip applicators so just dab it on the blemish and use your finger the heat of your finger to kind of like blend it into your skin it's really good, and and if you want um, um something to set that tinted moisturizer, if you really feel like it's not enough, you can use a pressed powder. And a good one is from Physicians Formula Organic Wear Line because they're or even in their mineral wear line, I've tried it because their powders are mineral powders, so it's better for your skin, and they have organic properties, so it's really good. And my color is in beige, as well as the tinted moisturizer. Why I suggest this one is because it is um it has natural ingredients, nothing chemical on your face, and then. For your eyes, I really suggest something really just pink, something pop of color. All the younger girls like pink, and I like pink. That's my favorite color. So a good one is from Annabelle. I don't know if you can get it in the U.S., but it's a custom quad. So it's like MAC where you can custom put the colors you want, and they come in pan form. And um, a pan like this is only 3 $4. And this color is in uh, Sugar Dust. It's really pretty, and it's really nice um, pink with kind of like lilac-y undertones. It looks more white on my finger here, but I'll try to swatch it for you. That's kind of like what it looks like, and it looks really nice on your eyes, give you a pop of color. If you want something else that's more accessible, a Rimmel London Quad, but this is all the brown colors that I don't suggest younger girls using. But this pink color here is really good, but it is more um more lighter, it's more like white, but it does brighten your eye as well. I don't know if you can see it if I swatch it, so I won't bother swatching it. But it's a really nice color, I don't know if you can see it there, yeah. Um, or any, just anything from drugstore, they have any like light pink colors, just go and get them. They're really uh, accessible and they're really cheap to get and it's easy for you to get hold up. And if you want to line your eyes, I suggest you getting a duo eye um, eyeliner like this, a pencil eyeliner. This one is from Rimmel London um, Extreme Definition Two Tone Eye Definer and it's really great. And this one has two colors, the brown and the teal. Oh my goodness. I just dropped it on the ground. Me being so clumsy. Okay, but um, I will not suggest you getting the teal one. I would suggest you getting something that has like a brown and a pink. Because brown is really good for every day. Um, it's really neutral, so when you don't want too much of a color, you can use brown. And brown is good because it's not too harsh. If you use black, it might be a bit harsh for younger girls. And a pink is good. You say if you don't want to even use eyeshadow, just want to use a pink eyeliner, just a pop of color, it's great. I would suggest, and it's easy to use to sharpen it, and it's really great. Okay, and then for um, for mascara, if you want to use mascara, I would suggest mascara. It really does brighten the eyes. I would suggest CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights. I really like this mascara. Well, I do like my CoverGirl um, Lash Blast a bit better, but if you're just starting out on mas using mascara, this one's easier to use. This one is a smaller brush, way smaller than the um, CoverGirl Lash Blast, so it's easier for you to use it, and it won't go on your lid as much, like smudge on your lid when you apply it and such. And it is um, a brush tip, not a brush tip, it is a... Um, rubber bristle kind of thing so rubber bristles are really good because they separate your lashes they define them as well as they give you some curl and some length and some volume so it's really great and uh, so I really suggest a mascara that has a rubber uh, bristle because ever since I started using the CoverGirl Lash Blast I fell in love with rubber bristle um, mascaras 
And um, the um, CoverGirl Exact Eyelights have based on your eye color. So I have the one in Black Pearl because I have brown eyes. So this is what it is. And um, I really, really recommend it. It's really good. And now onto lips. I will suggest not using lipstick because lipstick is too harsh. So anything like gloss would be good. And I suggest the brand Lip Smackers or Bond Bell, whatever you like to call that brand. And they're really good um, lip balms and lip um, moisturizers and stuff. And I have one here in the Kool Aid collection. This is Tropical Punch. And this is just looks like this. It doesn't come out red or anything. It just comes out clear. But it's really moisturizing, good for at night or when you have really chapped, dry lips. And also, if you want something um, more glossy, like every day when you go out or whatnot, like I have on my lips, um, you can use, um, uh, there's two different kinds. This one is in the Liquid Lip Smacker. This is um, the Skittles collection in Strawberry Star Fruit. And it is in the brush, um, it is in the sponge tip, so it's easy to apply on your lips. I find brush tips are harder to apply. Um, I don't know why they don't get easier to apply and they streak a bit more. And these are really good because they're really, really moisturizing. All um, Bombay, uh Lip Smacker products are really moisturizing and they smell really good. It makes you want to eat it. And next one is in their um, Ice Creamies collection. This one is Smackers. This one's Cookie Dough. And I really like this one. I have it on my lips. It smells so good. It just smells like Cookie Dough. Or it kind of smells like Cappuccino too. And this is in a brush tip. A brush tip, a sponge tip. I keep saying brush tip for some reason. And um, yeah, it's really good. It doesn't come out brown or anything. It just comes out clear. I have it on my lips if you're wondering. So yeah, this is the lip products I recommend. And I hope this video really helps you, the, the one who requested. And any of you who are like 10 years old and who are trying out a makeup and all that kind of stuff. As well, I want to suggest two people for you to watch if you want to um, look at this kind of similar things. It's X Ruby Red Lips. She's really good. She's around 12, 13 years old. And she does a lot of younger girl makeup as well as some really glam makeup as well. And she's really quirky and she has a really good sense of fashion. And she shows her fashion hauls and different things. And she's a great person to watch. As well as uh, All That Glitters 21. She's my age kind of. But she has a lot of younger viewers. So she has a lot of videos like middle school makeup, makeup for 10 year olds, and neutral looks and different things like that. So go check her out if you want to know more about it. So I thank you for watching. I hope this video really helps all of you who are into makeup or just starting out 10 year olds and whatnot. And I thank you for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye for now.